Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I am going to explain you ICMP usages in computer network. In my last video, I have explained you how ICMP protocol functions, right? If you have seen my last video, in that I have explained you working of ICMP as well as basics of ICMP, right? In that I have told you to improve reliability of internet protocol, IP. In IP, there are two versions, IPv4 and IPv6. To improve reliability of IP, ICMP is implemented in computer network. So, how reliability can be improved? Reliability can be improved by giving acknowledgement to sender. For example, if sender is sending one frame and as if frame is getting dropped somewhere and there can be so many reasons uh, for dropping of frame, right? But as if frame is getting dropped, then router can forward ICMP frame. And based on ICMP frame, this sender will get to know, okay, there is a loss of frame in transmission. So, there has to have retransmission of frame. In internet protocol, there is no such functionality like acknowledgement, right? And to improve reliability of IP, ICMP is implemented. And I have told you, like, there can be so many reasons of frame drop. And in ICMP frame structure, I have told you, in ICMP header, this type and code field will define what is the reason behind frame drop. So, you should know, see in internet packet, ICMP is implemented. So, in IP packet, there can be IP header and IP data. Here with IP data, we will be having ICMP packet. In ICMP packet, we have ICMP header and ICMP data. ICMP header is having type and code field that will define what is the reason behind frame drop and checksum explains you whether there is error or not and this rest of header that is not used it will be usually zero in majority of cases and here icmp data that will be discarded packets i header plus greater than 8 bytes of data for, from discarded packet like for example as if you transmit one frame and as if this frame is getting dropped over here, then with this frame, with this frame, we will be having header plus data. So, here in ICMP data, header plus greater than 8 byte of data that we are adding in data part of ICMP data, right? So, in total, ICMP packet is ICMP header plus ICMP data and that we include on ICMP packet. Let me show you that practically. So, for that, I need to take to you my computer screen. And in that, if you observe here, Wireshark software that we have, right? So, here you see ICMP version 6, this frame that I have received, right? And that is having neighbor solicitation. And second ICMP frame that I have received, that is neighbor advertisement, right? Now, if you observe, if you click on this first, then you will, details will be there with this frame. Right, you see ICMP. ICMP means Internet Control Message Protocol. It is implemented on V6 right now with this frame. So, here see this ICMP that is added on IPv6 frame. This is added on IPv6 frame. IPv6 is implemented on Ethernet over here, and Ethernet is implemented as per frame structure over here. Right. So, if you observe here, ICMP that is implemented along with IP protocol, right, on network layer. See, this is how things are there. And here, if you observe, what is this frame? You see, neighbor advertisement, right. So, if you observe here, here we are having type and here we are having code, right. Checksum is there, checksum is there for uh, error detection. But type and code, that will explain the reason. So, if you go through Wikipedia, let me show you in Wikipedia. In Wikipedia, if you observe, you see router advertisement that is having this type and this code, right? You see type and code that is written over here. So, this is, this is the detail which is there for IPv4, but same thing that will be there for IPv6, only type and code that will change, right? So, here, this is how things are there, right? So, uh, technically, you can observe here how ICMP packet that is forwarded. So, type and code that explain the reason. 
here neighbor advertisement that is the reason right now what i'll do is i'll explain you first what i'll do is i'll explain you first uh, how many how many usages are there which i'm going to explain you in this video see there can be destination unreachable there can be source quench there can be time exceeded there can be parameter problem like bad ip header there can be router advertisement right there can be router solicitation there can be ping command there can be trace route command so all this i'll explain you by practical examples right in my computer along with wireshark software so let us see first how destination unreachable that can be there with us so here in destination unreachable in general i'll explain you three categories right one is destination network unreachable second is destination host unreachable and third is destination port unreachable let me explain you that by practical example like as if i say here we are taking one example in which see host a is forwarding data to host h1 right so host a is forwarding data to host h1 so what will happen in case of network unreachable let us try to understand that you see here first frame will go from a to router 1 then frame will go from router 1 to router 2 now you see router 2 will forward data to router 3 and router 3 belongs to network of host h1 router 3 belongs to network of host h1 and as if as if router 2 does not find router 2 does not find router 3 then you can say here destination network is unreachable i'll show you that in wikipedia i1 but right now you just understand this see as if you want to communicate from host a to host h1 and as if this network is unreachable then then this router 2 you see is finding this router 3 is not reachable so it will forward so it will forward icmp packet it will forward icmp packet like this and in icmp packet in icmp packet it will mention this this network is unreachable right now let me consider second case in second case you see destination host is unreachable so destination host is unreachable means what when you forward frame when you forward frame like at that time host will be unreachable so you see frame will be routed to router 1 then router 1 will route it to router 2 now router 2 will route it to router 3 now router 3 router 3 can communicate in this network but in this network as if this host h1 is unreachable with router 3 then router 3 will do what router 3 will forward icmp frame router will router 3 will forward icmp frame and it will mention it will mention it will mention what it will mention this host is unreachable right now now destination port unreachable so that is quite interesting you see what will happen here here when host a is forwarding frame right to router 1 router 2 router 3 now it will reaches to h1 it will reaches to h1 but inside h1 there are multiple processes and with each process that will be there will be well defined port number like you may be using skype over here right let us say port 1 that is skype let us say port 2 that is uh, that is google chrome right google chrome likewise there can be multiple ports now for example right now somebody is calling you on skype but your skype application is uh, skype application is not active on your host then do you think like that somebody can talk to you by skype no so when frame comes over here at the time as if skype is not available over here on this host then there will be there will be there will be icmp reply by host one there will be icmp reply by host one right that says port is port is unreachable that says port is unreachable right see that is how things will happen 
so i think now you are having fair enough idea like how uh, how network can be unreachable how port can be unreachable how host can be unreachable now let me show you that on my computer screen so that will give you more clarity like if you observe here wikipedia then in, in that you see destination unreachable is having so many types right destination unreachable is having so many types like i have told you network unreachable like I have told you, destination host unreachable. Destination protocol may be unreachable. Destination port unreachable. Sometimes there can be fragmentation required and DF flag is set to 1. See, if DF flag, if it is set to 1, in that situation, you cannot do fragmentation. And as if fragmentation is not allowed, then ICMP reply will come like fragmentation required, but it is not allowed here. Likewise, there are so many reasons, right, for destination unreachable. So, I cannot explain you all the reasons, but I have explained you general reasons, right? Those are three general reasons. So, here, uh, I think now this part is clear. Let us move on to next part, that is source quench. So, let us try to understand how source quench is there. See, source quench, that is applicable, if too much traffic is there with router, then router will give ICMP packet indicates do not forward traffic here due to congestion. Let me explain you an example. Like for example, as if I say here router 3, router 3 that is so busy. Router 3 may be connected with so many LANs, right? And that's why router 3 is very busy right now. And as if, as if host A is forwarding frame to host B and when frame comes to router 3, at that time router 3 may not be able to handle this frame. So router 3 will do what? Router 3 will give ICMP packet over here. Router 3 will give ICMP packet over here. Right. And that ICMP packet, that ICMP packet explains what? That ICMP packet explains right now this router 3 is very busy. So it will give so it will give command right in code and type field it will give command which is source quench which explains router 3 cannot handle these frames over here. So, you should not forward data via this path. You can choose other path or you just stop to send data. That is how ICMP packet tells source quench. Let me show you that. Let me show you that on my uh, Wikipedia page. So, that will give you more clarity. See, source quench. See this, source quench. So, that explains congestion control. Right. So, I have told you like if router is having too much congestion, then congestion control that will be done by source quench. Now, now let us try to understand one more essential usage that is time exceeded. So, time exceeded means what? Time exceeded means now frame cannot be forwarded further. Time exceeded means frame cannot be forwarded further and that we have already studied in IPv4, IPv4 packet format in that i have told you like ttl time to live ttl if it is zero if it is zero then further hoping is not allowed let me show you one practical example like right now i am having one frame right and that is what i am forwarding over here now what will happen is like for example right now if ttl ttl is equals to one over here right when this this frame comes over here at that time, this TTL will decrement by 1, right? TTL will decrement by 1. So, it will become 0 over here when it reaches over here. When it reaches over here, it will become 0. And as if TTL is 0, then further transmission is not possible. So, this router 1, this router 1 will do what? It will give, it will give ICMP packet over here. And that ICMP packet explains what? time exceeded because of TTL is equals to 0. So, this host will have to forward this frame again, right. So, TTL field that explains, now further transmission is not possible, but ICMP tells you can retransmit it. The reason is now it cannot be forwarded further. See, this is how things are there, right. Let me show you that on my computer screen with Wikipedia page. So, that will give you more clarity. See, here uh, time exceeded, see this one. So, it is having, it is having type, it is having type 11 and there can be two types of code, right. So, TTL expired, 
that that could be the reason over here so this is how this is how this reason is there now let us have next point of this which is parameter problem so let us try to understand first what is parameter problem see there can be bad ip header let me explain you how see for example as if i say you are forwarding one frame from a to b so whenever frame is getting transmitted via medium there is always possibility there is always possibility that there can be some issues in data of frame and in majority of cases you will be observing those issues will happen in ip header the reason is ip header will be identifying checksum right so for example as if i say there is some issue there is some issue right and because of that this router is observing this router is observing bad ip header so as if this router observes there is a bad ip header bad ip header means there can be issue of checksum error there can be issue of bad length of frame there can be issue of option field issue right so based on that it will identify okay there is issue of bad ip header and based on that what it does is it gives icmp reply it gives icmp reply to transmitter it gives icmp reply to transmitter and this reply says what this reply says you'll have to send this frame again so let me show you that on wikipedia so that will give you more clarity see here with uh, parameter problem you see there can be three reasons so here a type and code that is there with us right so there can be bad length there can be error as per checksum there can be missing required option so based on that we can identify there can be issue and those issues will be indicated by those issues will be indicated by that icmp code and type field right now now let me show you another parameter so that gives you more clarity see router advertisement so router advertisement that i have already explained right for example in this network for example in this network let us say router is knowing this host are having best possible route via router 1 then router 1 will do what router 1 will do advertisement like router 1 can forward frame to host a that is icmp frame which indicates this is the best router which is there for you like you see in my computer i have received it so luckily i have received it so i think i should show it to you see uh, here in wireshark I, I i think i should show it to you see router advertisement right so router advertisement means what this router is doing advertisement it says right now i am the best possible router for you so you should be handling your traffic via me right so that that has been indicated by this icmp frame right so i think now you are having more clarity regarding how how we can have router advertisement right now similarly we have router solicitation so router solicitation that is what that explains here host is identifying best possible router like see for example here host host a host a wants to find best possible router then host a will send icmp frame host a will send icmp frame and it indicates to router one are you the best possible path for me or not right and based on that it will receive it will receive acknowledgement so here a is asking for best possible path to router that is what router solicitation right that is what router solicitation icmp3 now let me explain you few very essential parameters like what is ping and what is trace route the reason is as being a network engineer you should be having idea about what is ping and what is trace route and why should we have it right see ping that that uses icmp echo and icmp echo reply so icmp echo request and icmp echo reply that can be done by ping i'll show you practically right first of all let me show it to you on wikipedia after that i'll show you practically on my computer so 
here you see i see mp echo reply so that is having code 0 type 0 and i see mp echo request that is having 8 and 0 type and code right so this is what we can have it by having ping so let me show you how we can have it so for that you'll have to open command window and this is windows computer so in windows computer in windows computer you will have to write ping and then you can write any website so as if i write www.google.com after ping then what will happen you see it will be forwarding frames right and these are ipv6 frames that you can observe and i have told you like see we were been communicating with ipv4 but nowadays ipv6 that is getting popular and these are ipv6 frames right now see what it indicates it indicates how much time that it took to reach out to google so first frame second third fourth see this is how our reply comes right so with respect to time how much how much time that that my computer to to get on to google server right so 76 millisecond with first ping with second it took this time right so here i can understand like how much time it takes to uh, have that route to that given destination that i can understand based on ping command right now when you perform this ping command at the time it will be forwarding request and it will be receiving reply right and that request and reply that request and reply see request that will be this and reply that will be this see as per this type and this code it will happen right so in icmp packet format that we can understand so probably i think now you are having fair enough idea about what is ping right now let me let me show you how trace route is there see this is amazing thing by which you can understand exactly what is happening in your computer as per computer network like see for example if i say what what could be the path by which i can reach is to google then that i can find it by having trace route like whenever as and when there is some issue in any small network even by having a trace route we can identify what is what is the exact path at which there is some issue right let me show you how see for example here here as if as if i want to identify what is my path from a to b then i can identify by having trace route let me show you practically first after that i'll explain you how it is happening right so here on command uh, you see i'm i'm writing trace rt see this is windows computer so in that you will have to write trace rt if you are having mac then you will have to write trace route so trace rt then www.google.com so i just want to find a path now let me let me see how trace route is there you see what what is written first over over a maximum of 30 hopes means in between 30 hopes are there in between 30 hopes are there right now you see some requests are getting timed out and some request that is happening successfully over here and it is showing me like what what are the path which is happening right now in between me to google server right as google server is very far from me obviously there can be time out the reason is icmp protocol is not compulsory i have told you but for small network we can communicate my network is very small i am having just five computers only right so i don't think like trace route will function over here with my network but if you have network with 100 computers then uh, definitely this will be helpful right to trace a route you can observe here some routes that is been indicated over here some some routes are having request timeout so i can identify like what are what are the ips right which is available over here during my route and based on that i can i can i can understand like how exactly frame is getting transmitted now how it is happening let me explain you that that gives you more clarity right now you understood what based on trace route you can understand like what are the possible paths by which my frame is getting routed right and that is that is been given over here in sequence see this is this is not the exact thing right now 
but if it is about five to six route or if it is about five to six hopes then definitely you can say it will be correct one if it is having more than 30 hopes then there definitely there will be some issues right the reason is there can be multiple paths as number of hopes increases then you will be having more choices of path right so let me explain you first how how this command is working so for that you see what is happening here is here host a see this is my computer so this is this is me and let us say this host b that is google this is google right so what host a is doing host a is writing trace route trace route or trace rt see trace rt that is there for windows system and trace route that is there for mac so trace rt and then space and then as if i write google.com right google.com then i just want to find a path to reaches to google now how it is happening you see see first first this computer a will send one icmp frame this computer a will send one icmp frame with this frame it will set ttl time to leave field that is equals to one so what will happen when this when this uh, frame reaches over here this ttl will become zero and as ttl will become zero this router one will forward what icmp ttl exceeded frame so router one uh, so so my computer will get to know like okay first router first router has forwarded icmp ttl exceeded so my first first hope that is this now next time this computer will set ttl is equals to 2 and it will forward frame so it will go to router 1 at the time this ttl that will changes from 2 to 1 and then again it will reaches to 2 and ttl will changes from 1 to 0 so again here ttl will become 0 so this router 2 it will forward icmp ttl exceeded reply to host a right next time now host a will send what frame with ttl is equals to 3 so timeout will happen over here right but at last when it comes to google at that time at that time you cannot forward ttl is equals to 4 why the reason is if you set ttl is equals to 4 you are writing google.com so request is already reached over here so google will not send icmp reply over here so for last hope for last hope what this computer will do is it will send a frame it will send a frame with destination google but with false port number it will send a frame with destination google will with false port number and when it reaches to google with false port number google will give reply icmp port unreachable icmp port unreachable to this so this computer will get to know like okay google is there after this number of hopes see this is how things are happening practically right so here few basic things that you should know see here this computer is sending frames with ttl is equals to 1 2 3 and based on that it identifies how many hopes are happening over here so based on that here this computer is observing what is the path by which communication is happening practically if you observe practically if you observe i have shown you practically if you observe when it comes to when it comes to a complex path when it comes to complex path like from india to usa initially it have told like there can be there can be over maximum of 30 hopes even it is not having an idea about how many hopes can be there why the reason is as you increase more number of hopes obviously there can be so many paths so when it was identifying path over here at the time there was request timeout right there was request timeout why that is happening the reason is i have told you icmp that is not mandatory icmp is not mandatory it is optional internet protocol internet protocol is unreliable service internet protocol is unreliable service and as internet protocol is unreliable service by icmp we can improve reliability right 
So it is not compulsory every time ICMP prims will come to you. Right. That's why, that's why what was happening, you know, like when I was searching for ICMP frame, when I was searching for ICMP frame, it was very difficult for me. You can observe here on Wireshark software. I don't find ICMP frame. So here in filter, I need to write ICMP. And when I write ICMP, you see ICMP that I'm not receiving. But I have received few ICMP, ICMP along with version 6. Right. I have received few with ICMP with version 6. I have shown it to you. Right. Right now, I just need to again, you see, ICMP with version 6, I have received so many. And those were the regarding solicitation and advertisement. Now, solicitation and advertisement uh, that, see, that is regarding advertisement of router, right? And uh, one frame that I am asking to my router, like, are you the best router or not? See, these two frames that I am receiving. Otherwise, if you observe here, I am not receiving any frames regarding ICMP. ICMP version 6, that is what I am receiving right now with majority of cases, right? And that is what I am receiving because of ping command that I have used. Otherwise, technically, in my communication, there is no issue. Why the reason is, nowadays, if you observe internet speed, then that is very fast, right? And very few chances of errors are there. Very few chances of frame drop will happen. And because of all those things, probably in future, you will be observing internet will be very fast. Without error, we will be communicating. Optical links are available in which there are very few chances, very rare chances will be there of error, but still error is possible. But as bandwidth is expanding, less errors are happening and that's why even if you search for ICMP frames, very rare chances are there that you will be receiving it. And I was been searching for ICMP frame for two hours, right? And I was not getting it. And I have received a few only, which were the regarding advertisement and solicitation. But still, to improve reliability of internet protocol, ICMP is essential. But, but still, if you observe few things over here, if you observe few things over here, on Wikipedia itself, see what they are saying. Uh, majority of things are depreciated, right? Majority, you see, depreciated, depreciated, depreciated. If, if when I was studying like you, in engineering at the time when i have seen that on uh, when i have seen that on wikipedia at the time very few were depreciated but nowadays this depreciated that is increasing on wikipedia even right what it means in future you will be observing majority of icmp that will be depreciated right majority will be depreciated the reason is nowadays internet becomes reliable relatively right compared to past and in future obviously internet will improve still if anything that you like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you i'm doing too much hard work so please give reply over here and you should share it with your friends even thank you so much